Bryant, well, your uh, first touch in Death Valley, a touchdown. I guess, walk me through that. What did you see? Did you black out? What did it feel like? Uh, it was yeah. just a great atmosphere. You know, we just called a play that, you know, to take a shot downfield. Uh, I just ran, ran the route. And uh, Kate just made a great throw to me. So I just did my job and caught it and just kept running. And, you know, it was deafening whenever I caught that ball and ran. I couldn't hear anything. Not even my own thoughts, really. The fans were crazy. Uh, it was just probably one of the best experiences of my life ever since I came to college. Ever since I started playing football, it was probably the most memorable experience I'll ever have. You're the first Clemson line out freshman to their first touches to score since Sammy Watkins, man. It's got to be pretty good company to, to know that after tonight's performance. Yeah. Uh, I think my first touch was against Georgia, but I mean, Death Valley, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty big experience. What was it like coming down the hill for the first time? Uh, it was crazy. I remember as a recruit watching them come down the hill and come down and run, and I was like, dang, if I ever get this chance, I don't even know what I would do with it. But I wasn't doing nothing extravagant with it. I sure I you know, didn't want to hurt myself or anything. But it was a great experience. When did you learn you were going to start? Uh, we really didn't learn that. It was more like a week by week thing, so, you know, week by week performance. So I guess at the beginning of the week, we come out with our depth chart. Yeah, and we really just run the whole school practice, see how everybody's doing. And, uh, yeah. Third down, backed up deep early in the game. Tell me about the ball in the air, knowing that, that you got something. And just when you make that catch and, and score that touchdown, what It was just, you know, Coach Sweeney really hit on this. That the ball is in the air, it's ours, no matter what. And I know last game that wasn't a big emphasis that we showed, but we made sure to work on that this week, and I think we really improved on that. And so we were able to. Uh, we were able to really concentrate on that. And I think it's helped this week. You know, going up against our defense a lot. I was able to you know, focus on the ball and yeah, focus on the goal. Brian, knowing that first deep shot was coming to you, so what was your mentality? Uh, it wasn't really coming to me for what I would say, but I knew that any route I run, I'd expect the ball. So I was just, you know, I look back, look at Kane. Look in the air, see the ball, and I'm like, yeah, it's go time. Talk to Kane, talk to Bill, I mean, they just had nothing but great things to say about the O-line. I mean, it starts right there at the front. The first two games, they really protected the quarterback. No sacks on Cade, and then it gave him time to get the receivers uh, enough reps and some big plays to play. Yeah, that's really been a big improvement for us this season. I know last year, uh, there have been struggles. You know, I watched on TV, watched some games, and there have been struggles. You know, they've had big improvements. I'd say they are probably the most impressive position group that we had to improve. Come on. Last year. Come off last week. Was there a little bit of frustration for you? I mean, the team only had 52 offensive plays. There wasn't a lot of explosiveness out there. How did you handle that leading up to this week? And then how important was it to see what y'all saw in that first quarter? Uh, we just had windshield mentality. We just look forward to the next week. We know that last week was a bad, not necessarily a great game, but we knew that we just take the lessons that we learned from that week, focus on for this week, and we know if that we play Clemson football, they could be the one that can stop us. How much confidence does a performance like this give you guys going into not only an off week, but then an ACC schedule in two weeks? It really gives us, a, I say it gives a big confidence boost knowing that we were, you know, we're good enough to be one of the best teams in the nation. Knowing that if we focus on the details and focus on the focus on the uh, our task, make sure that we are you no know, bus plays, none of that, we will be the best team in the league. So. Uh, Coach, Coach Winnie said um, you're on your first snap against Georgia. It was kind of a rough one, I guess. How, how did that game for you? I think you played about 12 snaps in that game. How did that kind of build you up to, to this week uh, against App State? Uh, I feel like, you know, build my confidence up pretty good. I know the first snap, it was probably, you know, I got jammed by the court a little bit. But after that, I was able to play faster. You know, I don't think they were able to. My routes got cleaner. You know, I was I wasn't getting jammed after that. So it was a big confidence. You know that I can hang out there with the best, one of the best defenses in the nation.
Right. How's the transition? I guess people talk about the transition to high school to college kind of like a big leap. Yeah. For you, is that is that kind of the same, or how is it for you? Yeah, it's been it's been a big leap knowing that the competition I'm playing is a lot better than any competition I ever played in high school all across the field. And I guess that coming here in the spring and being able to you know play Clemson's defense for the past eight months, you know, it's really set me up and really prepared me for this season. Brian, how'd your first game in the Valley compare to what you thought it would be? It was, it exceeded it, all of my expectations. It was crazy. I never would have thought that that many people would ever, you know, come to watch, or not watch me necessarily, but, you know, watch a game that I've been playing in. It was just crazy being there, being there, all the fans there supporting us. Just crazy fans. And I love it here. And to be able to make the building explode the way it did with those two deep shots early. I mean, that was, uh, that was crazy. I never in my life would I have dreamed that I'd be here right now. Back there, making those plays in front of that.